Hey guys, uh, today I'll be showing you how to make a uh, nebula in Photoshop. So, start off, you're gonna need at least two layers and simply make sure they are all filled in the color black so you can give like the spacey look, of course. Now, to start off, what we're gonna need is basically we're gonna have to go to filter and make sure you go to at least noise. And you add noise so I'm gonna probably just choose 30 for it okay that's better and that's really the decent way okay so now I'll go to make sure it, the amount is 30 monochromatic and it's garden so of course okay you'll come up with this so what I'm gonna do now is go to if I go uh, image adjustments and then I go to levels make sure this is 150 and that probably yeah, just leave that and press okay there you go so now I'm gonna create a copy and then I'm going to change the size for this. So for example, I'm going to go for at least 300. So okay, I'll accept that 300 with it. Okay, now 300, right? Okay. So we're going to have to add at least this, the, the black mask. So now you're going to add two of these. And what I'm going to do is just erase some of the stars. And I give it, okay, so I'm going to have to change a bit of the opacity. So it just doesn't really feel like it's kind of so, okay, this kind of will do it. Not too. Okay, I've I messed up. Don't worry. If I make mistakes, don't <laughs> follow me about that. All you have to do is just basically clear out some stars, and that's it. Just clear out half of the stars, and then you'll be perfect. Alright. <clears throat> so, what I'm going to do now is basically I'm going to add color. So, the color I'm going to basically go choose is. Okay, I'll choose blue. I'm gonna make this a bit bigger, and then make this smaller, and then make this at least medium sized. Okay, and then I'm gonna change like the color a bit more to more like a reddish pink color. Let's go for like something like that. Yeah, that'll do. Now, if these colors don't work, it work. Don't worry. You just need to experiment with colors when it comes to like making space nebula. So I'm just gonna do that. Okay. I don't know if this will, but this is just an experiment. So we're gonna see. And what you have to go is go to blur. Gaussian blur and at least put this to 400. So as you can see, it needs to be at least radius to 400 pixels, of course, and then press OK. And you come up with this interesting, like, foggy background. So I'm going to create a new layer, <coughs> and then what I'm going to do now is make sure this is to black to white or white to black. And then we go to filter, and then if you go to render, there should be clouds. So now you have clouds. And what I'm going to do now is do it again twice. Go to different clouds and then go to color dodge. Now, this will technically make this very interesting, spacey looking type of nebula, I guess. So, what I'm gonna do now is again add different clouds and it'll create this like very simple and very easy. So, now what I'm gonna do is now just I want to warp it, so I'll go to edit, transform, and then I want to like. gonna stretch this out and do a few like bit changes to see what, what this takes me and I would stretch this bit out. When you get the final result of how you like it, just mess around with it. Doesn't matter how you make it, as long as you can just mess around and make something that's very unique. Okay so I like this, it's interesting. So now what I need to do is go create another new layer and simply I would technically just like, yeah, like add a bit more like dark atmosphere. So make sure you have like the soft brush tool so it creates like this very interesting dark atmosphere and I probably have to go a bit, I'm probably going to create like, let's see, soft light, okay. Soft light can do because it just gives a bit more depth to it. So it doesn't matter how much, how many what type of clouds you make, as long as it's very unique and it's like a very type of space nebula type of look. So like for example what I did here, I'm just gonna zoom in to the uh, thing. Fill my screen, there we go. So it should technically look like this. That's very unique. Okay. Now, what I need to do next is basically I need to, okay, I don't know why I did another layer, but it doesn't matter. So go to curves. Okay, now we're on curves and I'm gonna choose at least blue color. And uh, yeah, don't use RPG. So I'm gonna change it. Depends on what we like. I'm gonna change it like a tiny bit. Okay, that's that's fine by me. Okay, that'll do. 
So now you can see that I'm gonna now just pop it all bit. So yeah, go to edit and then pop it. So you can see this is empty. So if you go to select this part, <laughs> I made a mistake. That was not bad. Uh, okay. So I'm gonna just choose like random spots to where I like to move this around. Simple as that, and you'll create like this very unique. Stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna seriously just move around. Let's see what this creates. So I make sure you basically stretch out all of this. If you have the final result. Uh, that looks interesting, I like it, not bad, it's a good result. Okay, so uh, after we pop it, warp this, and then add the curves, make sure it's like very unique, and that is how you literally make this, alright. Now, next step is basically just go around the internet in terms of that, and like grab a specific image to give it more like color. So I'm gonna choose like this blue thing, as you can see, even though it's like very interesting. Yeah, I know. And what I'm going to do is go to basically linear color dodge. So that will technically give it more like atmosphere, more depth to it. So if I like about it, I like it. That's good. I'm going to add the black mask to it. And then I'm just going to erase these to like, it gives them more like depth as well. Just erase these edges and that. And that's around the image to give it like very, various interests to it. I don't know why. So there we go. Yeah, there you go. So it's there you go. Yeah, something like that. Doesn't look too bad, doesn't look too bad, so we're gonna, you can do that as many times as you want. Just mess around with the, uh, the space and just you'll create something like very unique and interesting. No matter how many times you can do it, it just will up to you. So I'm just gonna do this again, this time just so I can find like a very unique color. So I'm gonna probably go with like a green. So I'm just gonna choose like randomly anything as long as it's very unique and stuff. So just find something that's free to use. use. It's just Type stuff like okay, like this would kind of do. So I'm gonna choose this. Press enter. Image quality is very important as well. So I just don't want to mess out around the image. Okay, add this like a bit here, so it just gives more depth. To it. I don't know why. Try to do that. It doesn't look too bad, it's probably still missing, so we're probably gonna add like as many as you many like space type things you wanna add. So I'm just gonna add like probably a purple one. It really depends on how you would create this. So like if you wanna choose for example a specific image that needs to like give it more like an expression feeling or something that makes it feel like very more vibrant, like more colourful. So I'm just gonna do that. I'm gonna add a bit more to it, so like that, there you go. It's basically, it's not that hard to make space art, so it just doesn't matter how, many, how much images you add, as long as it, you just want to like create something very unique of space, so like it doesn't matter how much time you do it. You just gotta be creative, you know. And then basically what I'm gonna do is now, uh, there you go. So now we've created this very interesting type of space in the Abilo, very uh, unique and stuff. What I'm gonna do is now go to like, specifically color balance. Now, color balance is very very important, so we're going to probably go with highlights. So I'm going to change this a bit more, like very interesting color, to give it more like a vibrant color, so it doesn't feel like very boring to us. And then you go to mid-tones, do the same thing, I'm going to change it, change it around, mess around with this, so you can get the right color if you want. And then we go shadows, yeah, okay, shadows a bit, and you can change shadows a bit, and go darker. If you don't like it, sometimes you're gonna have to try it. So, like highlights, change it a bit. There we go. That looks fine. Okay, that looks okay. That's good to know. Depends on how you like it. So, uh, I wait, move that thing. <laughs> okay. So, now you've basically created this very interesting nebula. Like very interesting type of look. So what I'm going to do is now I want to edit the hue and saturation to it. So like the lightness and darkness. So I'm going to make it a bit darker. And I'm going to 
change it around the hue and mess around with it, the saturation. You can see it's very like color, so I'm gonna change it a bit like I'm gonna change the saturation a bit here and then I'm gonna change the color of the saturation to a more okay there we go. So we're gonna choose like more of a blue color, same thing, we're gonna probably change it, we can change as long as we want. I'm gonna stick with the saturation a bit more like that. Okay, that, that kind of will do, but I don't like it. <laughs> so I'm going to change a bit more of the blue to more of a vibrant color. So it doesn't feel like it's very eh, so I'm going to go back to Master and change the color a bit more. Like that, okay. And then change the darkness a bit lighter, a bit dark, okay. That will do. And then we're going to do is now I'm just going to go to, let's see, would be nice. Oh, yes, right. Brightness and contrast. So technically the brightness for space and the contrast for it, it technically you need like the basic idea of how space would look like. So I'm just mess around with that and then I'm gonna add probably in terms of it color look up. So I'm gonna choose like random colors that just kind of fit the scene. And I'm gonna change it around with this. Okay, that makes it more better, so I'm gonna change it like that. Sometimes it doesn't even, if it doesn't look that good, you kind of have to delete it. Because, you know, this thing is really like a... I see that this thing kind of ruins it, so if I don't like it, I would delete it. And I guess this will kind of do it because it gives more variation to it. So, this is like the final result of what you get. Good enough, right? Yeah, that's all good. So, I'm going to zoom out. There you go. So now it's zoomed out. It looks good from the zoom in. Good. So basically that is how you make a simple nebula, like very simple steps. You just gotta be very creative on how you would imaginably like create something very interesting. So what I'm gonna do is now basically add simply just a few final touches I like to do myself. So I just don't mess around, I'm just gonna mess around a bit. As you can see I'm just messing around with the editor, making it a bit more random and interesting. Basically, you've created like your own space nibbler and it should look like this. Basically, simple and easy. It, it may take quite a lot of effort to think about it. You just gotta make your own type of specific nebula. And that is all for today of this tutorial. Simple as that. So, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you uh, learned something new from me. I don't really do tutorials, but this is the first time I'm doing one to show you guys what, what this is really how I make my space stuff on Photoshop. So, uh, See you to the next video.